Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just thought what I would do is show you how to do these um, icicles. I'm back, yep, I'm back today. So what I'm going to do is just um, heat these up and show you how I do them on the iron. So I've cut these out of craft foam and um, what I'm going to do is just put these on the iron. And what actually happens here is these curl up to make our lovely icicle shapes curled make them lovely lovely shape like this okay okay so i'm going to do all three of these and that's how you make your icicles okay and like i said i cut i cut around these templates to make them okay and i draw onto my craft foam and i'll show you how to do that in a second okay i just thought i'd come on now because i think i've got a bit a little bit of time to do this so yeah so and we just put them inside one another to make a lovely icicle like this. And um, if you're not sure what I'm doing here, I'm making um, an icicle wedding bouquet. I'll show you um, the example in a second, or you can go back and have a look on the last video, on the first um, video that I've made on this project. Because this is going to be in parts. All of my, a lot of my projects are made in parts there we go so we the, we put them together like that and then we glue them together okay so I'll do one more okay I just I thought I'd show you as I'm doing it because I, I just started to do this and it was a little bit quiet and I know there's not gonna be much more daylight uh, so I thought let's come on while I've got a bit of daylight and uh, I can show you how to do these these um icicles okay so we just yeah i put my iron quite on full um it all depends on the materials and the kind of iron you've got as to what what temperature you you choose to, to do it on i'd start on a low heat if you're not used to doing things like this and don't use the same one that you use to iron your clothes with that's if you still do that i don't do any ironing anymore but um because it does get a little bit mucky um putting different materials on here you know so yeah so I'm just gonna um, just wait for this you can sort of see what happens here it what it does is it curls away from the um, it curls away from the iron okay as it heats up okay there we are and then you can mold it in your hand when it's soft when it's soft mold it quickly in your hands to the shape that you want okay and we will stick all those together like this and this is uh, basically, I'm showing you this a little bit backwards because what I would normally do is show you how to cut it out and draw it out first. But So let me just show you how to do the, when you actually um, draw it out, um, I use a medium one, but I do small, medium and large, okay? And what I actually do is um, I just draw around onto the craft foam with a wooden skewer or a cocktail stick and um, draw around the template okay just indent that craft foam like that so you've got your lovely um, your lovely shape and then you just cut it out so I don't have a die cutting machine I do everything by hand at the moment although I think probably in the future when I've got enough money I will probably buy one. Um, it's nice to have the free freedom of doing your own shapes, creating your own shapes. That's why I do it. That's part of the reason why I do it like this. Okay, and then what you would do is you would cut that out. You can see what I've done there. I've just indented the foam and you cut that out. And you do that for three, all three of your small, medium and large, all three of your templates. Okay, so... Um, and I'm not sure how many it's going to cover, but this is your um, handle of your bouquet. But we are going to ribbon this and we're going to put these on, okay, like this. On, after we put the, the ribbon on, which is this one here. Okay, and what we should have at the end of all this creativity is, if I could find the bouquet, oh, is we should have a bouquet like this, okay. So that's what we're aiming at. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just going to stick these together as my glue, glue gun's heated up, and I can show you how I do that. So we're just going to basically, I've got, I use hot glue, and I just stick my pieces together with a small amount of glue, 
like this, okay, just like that, just a small amount, and then just stick them down together like that, and that makes you a lovely icicle. And um, it's a shame really that they don't have any glitter foam anymore in the shop that I can do that with. So perhaps we, you could maybe dip them in glitter or something like that to make them more sparkly. But that's the idea and I'm thinking of maybe doing some of these with the layers in different colours. So maybe some of them with the dark foam and some of them with the light foam. This is the other foam that we've got here. So I'm thinking maybe doing the layers different colours just to give it a bit more of a pop. Okay, so there we go. So that's the next part of the project. I will come back and show you how I ribbon this handle as well to make it look nice. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. And um, don't forget to press the like and comment below if you like these videos. I know they're very short. Let's do another one. But if you do um, like, the, like the video, if you press the like button and uh, subscribe for more of these videos, um, that would be very helpful to help the ja the channel to grow. So, um, yeah, so if you do like these, these videos, do, you know, do subscribe. Okay, and then you'll get more, more videos. Okay then, all right then, so I'll see you again soon and do take care. Um, so bye for now. Bye, bye.